Hello everyone, my name is Pauline Chapman with Figment Effect Shop. Today we are going to introduce you to the Figment Dome Master to Flat Screen Tool for beginners. First thing we want to do is import your full dome video or image sequence file. Now right click your footage file, then click New Composition from Selection in the drop down menu. Now we are going to set up our workflow. A side by side workflow is what works best for converting full dome to flat screen. Make sure that your footage file is on the left and your composition is on the right. But the most important thing to make sure of is that you enable your transparency grid. Click on Toggle Transparency Grid button to enable your transparency grid. Now I'm going to scrub through the footage file and when I stop both windows will update. We will now run the Figment Full Dome to Flat Screen tool to convert this footage file. We do this by going to File, Scripts, and locate the Figment Full Dome to Flat Screen script. When the script dialog box appears, click the Flatten button. Now remember the transparency grids we enabled? If you see transparency grids, this is where you will need to adjust your sweet spot control slider. Slowly slide the sweet spot controls to the right until the transparency grids are no longer visible. Now let's scrub through here and make sure that we do not see the transparency grids in the display window. Looks good, but we need to straighten out this horizon. Let's look on just a little bit more. And even this Voyager text needs to be straightened out. Hmm, how will we go about that? First, let's turn on the proportional grid to act as our guidelines. Let me zoom in here so you can see what I'm doing. Let me change the resolution to full. Now, let's go over to the horizon control. Let's slide the horizon control to the right until the text looks straight. Now, this looks good, but the Voyager text looks like it's leaning back a bit. We can adjust the camera tilt a little bit just to take the tilt off of the text. Now, here, now you can see that the text is perfectly aligned to this guideline. Since we adjusted the text with the horizon control, we need to adjust the sweet spot control. Slide the sweet spot control to the right until you see some of the transparency grid. Then slowly slide the sweet spot control back to the left until the transparency grids are not visible anymore. There, the sweet spot is in the right place. Now let's check the second logo and it too should be straightened out correctly. Let me shut off this proportional grid real quick. Let's check the footage file one more time. Looks good. Looks good here too. Ooh, nice jellyfish. Horizon looks good here. But let's check with the proportional grid on. Nice and straight. Here too is good. Let's look on just a little bit more. And nice and straight. Here too is good. Houston, we have a problem. Let's shut off this grid. Wow, this looks nothing like this. This looks messed up. How are we going to fix this? Well, let me show you. First, let's bring the resolution down so we can work a little better. Let's open up the controls layer effects. Let's make sure horizon, sweet spot, and camera tilt are expanded. Let's scroll through the footage until we find where this scene starts. Now let's set keyframes for sweet spot, camera tilt, and horizon. We leave both sharpen image and camera zoom alone. Let's scroll through until we find where this scene ends. Let's set keyframes for horizon, sweet spot, and camera tilt. These are what we call freeze keys, meaning that everything from the left to the first set of freeze keys will be unaffected. Same thing for anything from these keyframes to the right will be unaffected. This ensures that the text and horizons we already fix are not touched at all. Now let's jump to the first set of freeze keys. 
Let me stretch this out so that we can see what we are doing. Now let's advance one frame from these freeze keys by hitting the page down button on your keyboard. Let's set the keyframes for horizon, sweet spot, and camera tilt. Let's jump to the next set of freeze keys. Let's go back one frame from these freeze keys by hitting the page up button on the keyboard. And again, let's set the keyframes for horizon, sweet spot, and camera tilt. These new keyframes are what we call edit key areas, meaning that everything in between these set of keyframes is where you will make your edit adjustments. Now let me scroll to where we can take a good look at the problem planet. Let's go back to the horizon control and let's slide the horizon to the left until our planet looks acceptable. Now we're just going to do this just a little bit more and give it again. And there we go. Now always remember the rule of thumb. If you adjust the horizon, camera tilt, or camera zoom, you will always need to adjust the sweet spot control. Now let's adjust the sweet spot control by moving the slider to the left. Okay, so we see our transparency grids. We need to move the sweet spot control slider to the right slowly until the transparency grids are not visible anymore. That will do it. Our planet looks round just like this one. Now these new keyframes in the middle are what we call work area keys meaning that they are just temporary keys and need to be copied to the edit area keys. Let me show you. First, we select our work area keys and we copy them. Next, we jump to the first edit area keys. Let's stretch this out a little bit so that we can see what we're doing. Now we paste our work area keys onto these keys. Again, let's jump to the keys to the right. We will skip these keys because these are our work area keys. Let's jump one more time to the next keys to the right. Let's paste our work area keys onto these keys. Let's jump back to the left and land on our work area keys and delete them. Let me zoom out so we can see our final adjustment keys. Now let me scroll through to check the adjustments. And that's it. We have successfully converted a full dome master to a flat screen video. Now let's preview our render work. We would like to thank our friends at UmaVision for allowing us to use Voyager to the Eternity and Beyond trailer as a test case for our Figment full dome to flat screen tool. Please visit their Facebook page and their website to check out more information on their full dome show and animation. Their links are in the description below. Like always, leave us your comments, subscribe to our channel, and please click the notifications icon so you can be alerted for your next free download. I am Pauline Chapman with Figment Effects Shop, and see you next time.